perhaps the first thing you notice about China is all the people. There's thousands of them, millions in fact. More and more every day being born. And um, yeah, loads of them. And they don't accept tips, which is nice. What are you selling? Oh, you don't like it? Okay, okay. Western influence do you think there is in um, in China? Well, uh, Western influence, um, you know, uh, crappy restaurants and all that. Okay, all right. Thank you. All right, bye -bye. Right, okay. How much uh, Western influence do you think there is in um, in China? Is there enough? Oh. Oh, yes, can I, can I interview you? Yes, I am. Sunan, how much Western influence do you think is um, is in China? Right. How much? How much? Oh, oh, sorry, you don't want to be filmed. Uh, how much Western influence do you think there is in China right now? Not just in Hen um, Shenzhen, but uh, generally, generally in the whole of China. Is that, um, is that an overall opinion or just uh, an individual one? Uh, how much Western influence do you think there is um, in China right now? I don't know your question. Okay, okay. Sorry, no problem. One thing I've noticed, having been to um, Hangzhou, Beijing, and now here in Shenzhen, all the cities have the same sort of layout. There's um, there's a certain flavour about all of them. The um, the boundary in the middle of the road, the way the shots are laid out. You know, there's um, I don't know what I'm talking about really. How are you? What is it? Do you think there's a lot of Western influence in China right now? Oh, oh. So what happens? It, um, you plug it in and the mouse goes crazy. Do you think there is uh, a lot of Western influence in China right now? Do you think there's much um, uh, Western? Uh, tell her to shut up. Hang on, let, move, move over here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Do, do, do you think there's much um, Western um, influence in uh, China right now? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. I think it's going to rain very soon. Here in Shenzhen, sprawling indoor electronics market, it's incredibly easy to get lost. Uh, in fact, the place is a maze. I thought the one in Hong Kong was big, but um, this is just um, incredible. It's more than you need, really. You really could buy anything here, absolutely anything, providing it's electrical. Anything from a, you know, a fax machine to a printer to a photocopier, microchips to laptops to cameras to printers. The one thing you can't find is the way out. Chicken. 
Yeah, one original chicken and uh, medium French fries. So what effect do you think the West has had on China? So there you have it, Shenzhen, one of the most thriving and booming metropolises in Asia at this time. But to get to the real essence of China, the stuff that makes China what it is, we need to go a little bit further down the road. When the sun in the morning beats so bright, it's not far, it's just down the road. The roses round my window sill, then my heart fill with gladness when I hear the trill of the birds. Where are you from? And a mule that I bought for a three dollar bill. There's a dog in the yard, and a rusty old bill. But it's my home sweet home upon my kindred hill. La la la, three beaches, still blue white in the morning, to the mockingbird still. La la la. in the market back alleys of Shenzhen but there's so many sights to behold it's almost like being in a movie like an Indiana Jones movie or something climb up the hill and survey all my kingdom while everything it's the smells of China that you can't really get out of your head and they make up the whole experience you know be it menthol or steaming wontons or even the pissy reek of ammonia uh, it all comes together and gives you an unforgettable experience. There doesn't seem to be anything the Chinese are not willing to eat. So um, if you have a adventurous taste, this is the place for you. On the other hand, if you're an animal lover, um, perhaps you should go to the Algarve or Toronto or somewhere. So what do the Chinese do at the end of their day? The thing about China is, don't knock it till you've tried it. Don't try and understand it and just appreciate it. That was Shenzhen. I have no idea where I'm going next.